There's no way. No, it didn't put me in the lava. It teleported to the other fist across the map. If anyone wants to clip that, please do. I would love to see that. I feel like I went a mile across the map. No, don't. Change your mind. Oh, did you just hit your teammate? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Me, that's, that, is, that is the most... That is the best. I'm so glad that you did it that way. I don't know. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. Today is Saturday? Saturday or Sunday? I'm sure it's Sunday where a couple of you are. But here on the East Coast of the U.S., Saturday, bright, kinda, early, kinda as well. We also have a, a change. <laughs> I gotta fix so much stuff. It's hard going live on YouTube. I mean, like, come on every single day uh i think about we got dark lord in the chat right now v did you hear about drama at twitch every single day i think about you know is it possible to go live on youtube um and today you know we're gonna give it a try we did it back in may uh may 7th to be exact so it's been a full month since the last time i was live on youtube why midnight stream that's not midnight <laughs> it's, it's still bright out yo i mean unless freaking earth got turned upside down i don't think that's up that's midnight uh but good to see everybody uh today we have really just one thing lined up we're gonna play dead cells um we're gonna do a viewer build i also i'm going to try to set up a way to have viewer builds submitted on youtube um so people who join in as a member we'll be able to submit a build i have a full like list of builds going and then hopefully people will be able to um get some cool stuff in here um so it should be pretty good hope everyone has a, a good saturday so far 10 p.m where are you all at where it's so late at night not to dox anyone in the chat but i know we have some romanians in the chat and we have indians in the chat where's where's everyone situated while I load up our game here. I was trying to play Dead Cells offline. I died about 50 times to Timekeeper. Timekeeper EX, that is. Indonesia, Nepal. East Coast in the air pollution zone. It was pretty gnarly like two days ago for us. 7 p.m. in Romania. Yeah, see, I, I remember. I'm tired in North America. You can definitely say that. How did Street Fighter go? I saw you log in. Blaze, I'm stuck on Advanced Kimberly number one. She has a... Uh, <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, Kimberly has... It's a... It's a drive rush. Punch, punch. Dash cancel. So she like does her dash attack, cancels it, starts up the combo again, then does dash sweep to like knock you up. And then from the knock up, you're supposed to do EX um, Tatsumaki. And for some reason, I can't get the EX Tatsumaki or whatever you call it. The EX quarter circle back kick. I, I just drop it every single time. It's not even that hard of a combo. It's just I can't seem to land that that final hit of it. I almost want to skip it and do all the other ones because I feel like it'll be easier for me. But the game's good for all my Street Fighter fans. It's it's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm doing modern on Kimberly, but modern on Ken is like not fun. I feel it's even worse because modern Ken I've already finished the full advanced trial of it. It's only two things. And it's like three buttons to press. It's depressing, really. As depressing as Ken's outfit. So, like, one of these days... Like, I know I can play Classic. But I'd love to get through all of Kimberly Modern combo trials before I swap. 
All right. Uh, what do you think about ammo being buffed to work with stuff like boomerang again? I sip. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll answer that as soon as we load in. Uh, can I get exclamation point BOTD, please? We're doing a viewer build, and I need to know what we're uh, playing today. Viewer? Can I get a viewer? How's the delay? I remember the last time we streamed, you all were saying that, V, you're not responding to us quickly enough. Am I getting a good response time? I think it could be even faster. Give me a Y in the chat if it's good response time. In the chat, if V, you gotta work on that. We need you. Delay's a bit better. All right, we're seeing some Ys come in. Oh, uh, thank you for that BOTD. Today's build is Electrical Whip, which is apparently a ranged weapon. I didn't know that. Magic Missile. That's Vegeta's Gallic Gun. Okuto in the backpack. That's some kind of Boku no Hero kind of deal. I've never seen that anime, though. Uh, Crusher. Very good. Um, and Magnetic Grenade. A very controversial weapon here. Um, and then we have some mutations. We're not going to hard lock those in because the viewer said I'm going to want to fix those once we get into the run. Uh, so let's lock this in. We'll do random outfits. That sounds fun. Do I have exclamation point viewer build in here? Maybe we don't have the exclamation point on the screen. Uh, v, long time no see. You may not recognize me, but I used to watch your Twitch streams with the name JJ the Neko. James, good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, Twitch is a one to two second delay. This is five to six. Yeah, apparently I'm on low latency and not ultra low. I figured low would be enough, but apparently we can do even better. Uh, okay. So I think we have everything in line. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we do have a few commands I added. If you would like to submit your own build, you can do exclamation point viewer build in the chat to find out the details. Uh, my plan for today is to kind of chill because oddly enough, like going live on YouTube, um, it's a little nerve-wracking. There's tech to worry about. There's presentation to worry about. And then there's the actual, like, getting on screen and not being ugly to worry about. So we hopefully have done at least one of those three things. Let's kill the music. I don't even know what music we have right now. Castlevania. Promenade has water. Yeah, there's little pools. We always forget that because we never go Promenade. Because we imagine it's a hard lose. Uh, but we should be good. I can attest you're the... You got the not ugly part covered. She. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh. Not even the like... The not ugly part, the she part. Like that. They always say comedy isn't like the punchline, it's the deliverance. I think the delivery on that sold it. Hello from Abu Dhabi. Let's play some tactics. Rocketeer, are you a tactics fan? Rocketeer, what's your uh, go to tactics weapon? Like, if you were to go into a shop in Dead Cells, what item is a guaranteed pickup for you, Rocketeer? Let me know if the game's too loud, by the way. Kunai? I've been playing a lot of Kunai lately. Even on Brutality, I'm like, you know what? We're playing Fake Tactics today. I don't give a crap. We're throwing. Hard throw. 
Rat gamers. Oh, I thought it sucked them up. No shield. I almost hit the parry button. I uh, found your channel about two weeks ago. I love your content, man. Well edited, fully fleshed out content. Um, we're trying. The editing part is probably the hardest part. Because I don't have an editor. Well, I do, but like the hardest content is what I need like a freaking studio for. It's tough. Uh, but we're working on it though. I, I have some cool stuff in line. Ow. I have a Hades video in line, a Skull of the Hero Slayer video. I have a Dead Cells that I'm working on that I failed multiple times today, as a matter of fact. So yeah, it's good stuff. Um, let me back up a little bit. We had a question from someone in the chat asking about ammo mutation. Ammo mutation got a shadow buff in this last patch. Um, a lot of weapons that had banned ammo mutation now allow you to use it. Um, and that it, it, it's strong. I will say that much. Now, that being said, should it be removed? I won't go that far. What I will say is that the meta for ammo mutation might be on its way back. Um, none of the stuff in here like utilizes ammo, but there's some really cool stuff that might even go into like a top three tactics build. Above to every range weapon. Yeah, but it's like, would I have considered taking the boomerang? Possibly not until they remove the ammo piece. And now all of a sudden, like, I am probably taking it. Imagine two Medusa heads. Crap, I didn't try that at all. Yeah, we, we got some experimentation to do, I think. Wait, can I do that right now? Hang on. Khan, I know this is your viewer build. Trust me, we're gonna finish this. But I think, um... There's a little extra sauce. Khan, this might be your next viewer build and you didn't even know it four boomerangs on legendary i think it gives you three i don't think it does um times two on those items it's more like a plus one but hey new training room we can test that right if i go here um give me give me medusa give me Boy Axe, Legendary. I lost it. Yeah, there we go. And then Gun. Gun, unfortunately, doesn't. It's not even a ranged weapon. It's a melee weapon. Um, so we'll grab ammo. Yeah. Two Medusas. Three Boy Axes. That's pretty intense. Let's go see what Consturge has to say about this. Was that, like, 15 tactics, maybe? Golden Yumi. I can carry three weapons, so this is fine. I'm just gonna go in. Like, what's Con Surge gonna do about this? Nothing, right? Does mobile update at the same time as console and PC? No. Did, do you all have Castlevania update yet on mobile? V on YouTube, I can't get V-Bucks. I'm so sad. Okay. This is, um... So there's something about the second Medusa that, like, explodes right away. 
This is me holding down the button, by the way. <laughs> it's not bad. It's still gonna take a long time to kill anything, but it's certainly not bad. All right, boy X. This is me holding down the button. Oh my God. Um, now my stats are obviously low, so don't worry about that too much. Uh, Gilded you, me. You and me, Summoner. Three bullets, three pogs. Not bad. I could probably throw Medusa. I just need to grab it. There we go. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> Yo! That was all Medusa. Don't even say that was Gilded Yumi being OP. You all saw Medusa. Don't deny it. <laughs> New tech unlocked. It's Concierge, though. We gotta do this viewer build. Uh, give me this. Give me this. So weird that I have to go back into it. Uh, my stats. It gives a recommendation what your stat should be. 32? 32? I think they mean something like this. Oh my god, I did lock it in. <laughs> I always do that, I don't know why. Alright, that's 32. Alright, give me Tranquilo. You know what? Throw in the Acrobatty Pack too. Let's make it legit. Acrobatty Pack with a Boomerang. Alright. It's just Concierge. Let's take it up a notch. Give me a Scarecrow. If it kills Scarecrow... It's sip tier. If I can kill Scarecrow without moving, then we chug our coffee. I gotta lead with Medusa, I think. Oh my god. Okay, so first issue. The ammo takes a long time to come back. But I already have to move. Scarecrow's too fast. Get in that corner. Oh no! All right. We're not chugging the coffee. <laughs> I just don't want to move. Yeah, the issue is that the arrow that's coming back, it just takes too long. Scarecrow is faster than the bullet. Um, but the knockback was still pretty good, so I liked it. Stun resistance counts towards that. That makes sense. All right, let's, uh, what happens if I leave? Is the run still in progress? Oh, wow, it is. Okay. Yo, Vlad, welcome. Root grenade, wolf trap. That would keep Scarecrow from getting to you, but if it's in the wolf trap, I think you waste it. It's like you have to shoot and then put the wolf trap down. Alright, I'm too... 
used to fighting Scarecrow. Um, someone asked about Ripper mutation. The arrows don't get stuck. They go straight through the enemy, then bounce off the wall. This is legit. Uh, what's the viewer build? Exclamation point BOTD to find out. Can someone hook them up? I've been liking Magic Missile lately. I think Vegeta got buffed in Dragon Ball Fighter Z too. Okay, let's get the food. Uh, chat, what area are we going to? Is this Arboretum? Promenade or Toxic Sewers? Promenade? Find the Agua. El Agua. Arboretum. Shoot everything from max range. Literally a tie right now. Does ammo buff force shield? It didn't used to, but maybe that got removed too. How do you get magic missile? Comes from the knife thrower, right? Can anyone confirm that? Knife thrower starts appearing in 1 BC, I think. I, or is it uh, Arbiter? Arbiter in caverns. So if you have not been to caverns recently, you need to start going there. What's Night Thrower? The uh, owl? Let's see if we can get anything cool here. Pierce all. It's always worth it to roll Hokuto's bow. Like, there's so many really good things that it can get. There's also Bank. Why would Night Thrower drop a magic missile? It's doing magic missile at you. If there's a knife thrower in here, it will shoot magic missiles at me. All right. Not the easiest bank in the world, just to say that. Typically, if you have a level two build, you don't go bank. Oh, snap, we got the match and drip. I'm out here with like a, a Lady Gaga outfit in the bank. This is sick. All I have to do is not die. Ah, yes, my damage. <laughs> it's pretty good. We can't lose. We gotta find the curse. Bank is terrible. What can I do to change your mind? Complete the bank without dying? Perhaps that's one way? If I die in the bank, then that confirms everything I said, V. Yeah, here's our curse. Get a level 14 item. It'd be kind of cool if you could do continuous mimic bets to prove to the game that, yo, I'm ready to fight five mimics if you can give me a level 14 weapon in the beginning of the game. Is there any truth to the rumor that donating to Gillian makes the game roll twice for extra scrolls and take the better result? I have never heard of that. I want to believe it. That's incredible. Shout outs to Lord Dev if that's a thing. Right now, I am doubting it. Uh, now, that being said, what happens when you break the piggy bank in the same scenario? Do you lose? Uh, not quality. Do you lose luck? Like the game has a hidden luck stat?
are you the YouTube streams taking over Twitch TV? Um, so the immediate answer is no. I can at least say that much. But what I will say is that if if A people prefer the YouTube setup and B, like I got a cat to feed. Look at him. You, you can't tell, but he's looking a little thin. <laughs> if I pick him up, he's not. But I got a cat to feed. If it ends up being that, you know, it's better that I'm on YouTube, then how can I not be? Bank has no water. Zero out of ten. I knew something was wrong with this biome. I knew it. Something told me not to come here. Mimic check. A mimic poison the enemy crusher. It's kind of funny. Electrical damage on it too. I don't have the money. Bruh. Yeah, so there's a lot happening in the Twitch world. I just renewed my partner contract with Twitch just this morning. So it's like... I don't want to bore you all with that stuff. It's, it's a whole conversation, I'm sure. Oh, wow, that can jump out? All I will say is that there's no takeover planned at this current moment, but it can always change. Dang. We gotta get us an amulet. I think we're rocking a double brutality amulet. I need to get rid of it. Probably the best part of the magnetic grenade is with something like magic missile like being able to throw it outward and then run away not that i'm a coward but you know it's smart we're using our brain i'm not going in there uh why you drop the double tactics amulet because i needed to leave <laughs> prison quarters with a double brutality amulet <laughs> what we're trying to tell so okay we leave prison quarters with three brutality three tactics so it's the same number what we're trying to tell the game is that hey game i am playing brutality today please for the love of god Give me brutality. The game's gonna say no. We're gonna give you not brutality. We're gonna give you tactics and survival. And it's like, no! <laughs> My build! Don't do it! And now I have all this tactics stats that I don't know what to do with. It's bull crap. That's the goal. How do you submit build for YouTube? Uh, we have exclamation point viewer build. All of our members today will get to submit a build and we will draw them in like a raffle format and that will be the next stream that we do on YouTube is whoever's build that we drew. I'm missing my Hokuto because I'm in the air. That's not good. Try to stay on my crusher. Alright, we got plenty of amulets now. Double purple. We'll get the jumps instead. Am I the only one who feels like challenge rifts spawn less commonly? I mean, it is RNG. I don't think it's any less than it was in the past. It's... you can miss it. I miss it. I have like 2,000 hours in this game and 
I miss them almost all the time. The Twitch viewers will tell you that. They're constantly telling me, V, open your eyes. That, that's a quote from the Twitch viewer. Um, there is accessibility, though. If you don't mind, you can go into... Accessibility... Secret zone visibility? I don't think that's it. Secrets outline. You can turn on secrets outline. I don't think it uh, prevents you from getting achievements either. Is dual bind on? Well, I can tell you the answer is no. Right? Yeah, see it swaps it. But, like, I don't even really do it that way anymore. This can't really dual bind anyway. You can sort of do it. Maybe I'll post that on YouTube one of these days. How to dual bind without, like, losing achievements. Glad to catch you live, Guava. Glad to catch you here. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Install hacks? No, no hack required. You all will rarely see me with um, like the mod gear. And typically if I have it on, it's just because we're either doing Bloodshot Malaise or I have a custom soundtrack. The only thing that we do to manipulate the game is when we do um, 20 BC, where the monsters are buffed, like they have the extra stats from assist mode. That's the only thing I do that's uh, kind of sus, <laughs> for lack of a better term. <laughs> um, let's go down. That was the only way I could figure out how to make the monsters harder. Does Bloodshot Malaise work on the current patch? Someone told me it does. Um, that's Duran. Duran is always updating um, their mod. Okay, so ideally... We'll go for the electric whip. Mimic check. Confirmed. Denied. Approved. All at the same time. Wow. I'm like wasting my crusher. Dang. I should have just floated. As soon as I got the Hokuto mark on it, I should have just jumped up and done that. Until it died. But like I said, I've been missing my Hokuto bow. Greetings from Turk. Welcome, welcome. Yo, we have a full international community today. That's incredible. That's one of the cool things about YouTube. Not that we don't have international viewers on Twitch. But on YouTube, you get everybody. Everybody coming in. Is it possible to mod slash hack mimic odds in 21 BC? From what I understand, no. I would have to make like a completely custom run. With like custom biomes, basically, to do something like that. And I mean, maybe one day we'll do it, but right now I just don't think that's what I would like to do. I'd like to just, unless I can find someone to do it for me, I'd like to just keep the game how it is and change stuff in game whenever possible. Elevator mu music goes hard. That was uh, the regular one. I think there's an 8-bit version too. Okay, we're in Celeste right now. 
Really cool Celeste generation. I've never had this setup before. Shout out to all my Celeste players. There's a new game that I think is on Steam Next Fest. Don't remember the name of it. Sister something? I almost want to check it. I think maybe I have it on my wish list here. If you've never played Celeste, basically imagine like a Mario Maker game with no monsters, just all disgusting platforming, but it is extremely well made. All right, so maybe I didn't wish list it. I've been trying to get a lot better about wish listing games on Steam. For those who don't know, devs really get bonuses, not like monetary bonus. Well, kind of, but it helps out on Steam's algorithm. If you have a lot of people wish listing your game. That's how you get recommended stuff when you go into Steam to buy a game. It's because of all the wish listing. Dang, I didn't do it. Breaking my own rule here. But yeah, I think I have all of Seaside done in Celeste. I just didn't do farewell because I ended up changing games. B, open Celeste and prove it. You can't make me. All right, clean Celeste. I mean, not gonna lie. When the viewer's build clears bank and I feel like I am not in any danger. Level two bank. That might be saying something. I gotta figure out if I can do polls. In YouTube. Uh, for those who don't know, we like to rate builds too, so it'd be kind of cool to say, um, hey, rate the build. I've never seen such a board game as complicated as the Dead Cells board game. I played a lot more complicated games than that. Someone asked, what's the board game? It's that right there. I'm not sure if you can see it though. It's the big box. Uh, yo, Rose, first time tuning in. But Rose, you're all over Twitter, not Twitter, <laughs> all over Twitch. Are you saying this is your first time on a YouTube live stream, Rose? I gotta stop doing that. Got to roll backwards. Uh, Jeff, good to see you. Uh, level three. There it is. I'll fight this. This is another good test on how good the build is. Okay. I'm not all over Twitch. I'm used to all, yeah, YouTube comments. So I recognize your name. I figured it must have been from Twitch, so I apologize for that. V, don't you dare say I'm on Twitch. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yo, the victims freeze? Who's doing that? I don't think anyone is. Am I tripping? I swear monsters are freezing. Oh, maybe it's Hokuto. It is. Wow, the Hokuto is actually saving me, I think. Yeah, see, it's just giving me enough time to reevaluate the situation, reevaluate my life choices. We don't need that. Yo, the big. Wait. Why do you have a shield over you? Okay, that's normal. I thought there was a legendary. The big. Eat the big. It's too hot. Okuto freeze. It's victims freeze. Nearby enemies on death. Though it would be kind of cool if you could have like a freeze on hit Hokuto bow. I 
have a lot of ideas for fixes that we don't have. A lot of them are from other games, but still. If we could ever have a Dead Cells 2, and the devs were like, we need double the fixes that we have today, I think I have some ideas for them. 100%. I don't even want the credit. I'll take like a... A plushie or something. And I'll be fine. Freeze on hit with invalidate freezing items? It would be a... A star. <laughs> a superstar. Not quite a legendary, but not... But better than like pure soul. I don't know. Mushroom boy... Boy. Mushroom boy plush? That'd be nice. Or a, uh... A serenade plush. I think I'd rather have a serenade plush, really. Crap, I just upgraded that. I want symmetrical lance hung on your wall. I gotta get the katana from downstairs. <laughs> the dead cells katana that I have. No, I can't do it right now. Um, so the second mutation. Can someone do exclamation point BOTD, please? Build of the day. Uh, we're supposed to be using specific mutations that we can swap out for bosses. Mushroom boy and a little staffy plush. The staffy could be cool because then you can have little spikes on it that are squishy. I like that idea. Acrobatty pack, Hunter's Instinct. I think I like that better than the No Mercy here, so I can do more crushers. Prison Dicks. Um, this is Khan of Trolls build. I don't know if we have Khan here today, but we are playing this in their stead. In their honor. Sip one extra for Khan. V, you only picked two mutations. Huh? <laughs> okay. Let's not die. We're doing the the magic missile because it has shots. Leave a flame of trail. Trail of flame. So that helps my Hokuto bow too. Because every time the fire procs, we get a little bit of Hokuto damage. How do we do this? I think I think I can shoot straight down, right? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I like to see something like damage is reduced by 80%, but the cooldown is removed for legendary Okuto. There could be a lot of cool things like that. I don't know if it would break the coding. Because if you think about it, internal delays aren't just a a player nerf is probably also a little bit to do with your processing. If every single thing in the game had zero delay to it, I can't imagine your RAM would keep up. Um, but that being said, if they were able to do like a removal, of the internal cooldown and not destroy my performance. I would take it. That'd be really nice. We're spamming. I don't usually use builds that have like two buttons to it. I'm a simple man with simple pleasures. I like cats. 
I like pizza. And I like when the build only has one button to it. Um, I am seeing reasons to press Y compared to pressing X. It does happen. Like right here, there's an X button monster. And then you run <laughs> because I didn't kill it in time. Oh, uh, we can kill this bat. Are we going Moras? Would you like me to go Moras? Do I even have the option? Whoa, there's a legendary here. It's camping the legendary. You can't do that. That's cheating. That's like spawn camping. Legendary Balance Blade, that's kind of sick. How do we even contest this? There we go. I just needed to swipe at me. Makes the victim bleed on Balance Blade, that's sick. Let's play this for a little bit. We're not gonna use it because that's not what the viewer asked for. But imagine this with open wounds and combo while playing tactics. <laughs> Probably legit. So many pimple poppers that probably do no damage because you're playing tactics and not brutality. I like it, I like it. YouTube stream, let's go. Is it because of Twitch controversy? Okay, so I'll, I'll let you all know I've been asked about YouTube live streams before Twitch quote unquote controversy. So this is like already been planned. But certainly when things go wrong in other places, it helps. But I should also say that this isn't meant to be a we are now permanently on YouTube. This is still a test. I should not press L2. I knew better than that. I just saw that I missed pressure. And I kind of panicked, pressed the button. Another crystal crusher, a oh, crystal slasher. Crusher should slow it down. How in the world do you get two of those in a row? Next stream is gonna be on YouTube or Twitch? It's gonna be on Twitch. We're gonna be playing Dead Cells and the new Lies of P demo on Twitch Monday. Hopefully it's not confusing you all at all. I apologize if you are now worried that you might miss content. If so, we do have a Discord where we do let you all know what's happening. If you want to join in, the Discord link is under exclamation point socials. I think it's also in the description of the video. There's no point checking that. This OST is from Castlevania. Yeah, I don't know all the Castlevania games. Really, we only played Rondo of Blood straight through. I'm missing food. We got the uninfected food, but there's infected food somewhere. Let's do a quick sweep. Chat, keep your eyes open and your brain peeled. We're looking for a... A level room that should have food in it. This is Order of Excelsior. Thank you, thank you. I always assume it's Order of Excelsior if we don't know. It's like guaranteed. Someone's gonna find the secret.
I believe. Is effective food guaranteed? One for biome? Yes, it should be in the wall. One guarantee in the wall, one guaranteed off a monster. But the one off the monster should not be infected. And there we have it. Is this going to be edited later? Um... I feel like the answer is no. So like my... My dream setup. This is like me telling you all, if I were to wake up tomorrow and I have like a full-time gig with YouTube and Twitch, the ultimate goal would be live streams plus edited stuff. Not edited live streams, if that makes sense. So we would have both running at the same time, these like full live streams where you get to engage with the chat, you all get to tell me what your favorite food is, tell me what games you're playing, and then we have the edited stuff, which is like your top three builds, how to play the Owl and Gunfire Reborn, Neon Echo, Oblivion Override, all of that stuff. Playing three roguelikes you've never heard of. Five things I wish I knew, Hades edition. Five reasons to uninstall Terraria. Best jury feet combos. All of that would be like separate from live streaming. All on the same channel, but like, that would be my goal. Yeah, plus live streams. I'd be doing both. We can team up. Get out of here. Crusher's so good. Yeah, so every elite monster gets Crusher. All the basic monsters get Magnetic Grenade. But we gotta be careful of Slashers. I think Slashers might also get Crusher. One, ten, and three, is that good? Okay, curse chest. No, it's the shop. Um, let's see if we can get a new Hokuto. Our Hokuto's good. Ooh. But we already have flaming trails. But I mean it's level nine, so let's go ahead and grab it. If we can get flame from somewhere else, that'd be really nice. Like a flame Hokuto. Bonus to poison. We just got that upgraded electric whip. That's so sad. We're risking it. Oh no, I wanted a new Hokuto. Crap. We greeted. Getting a lot of star fixes. I feel like Hokuto Magic Missile have some kind of hidden tech in it where you get like more stars. I feel like Knife Dance has it too. Like if someone was to tell me V, I ran the data and out of... 100 rerolls, I got more stars from Magic Missile than anything else. I believe them. 100%. Where's the curse? Let you change. Chat, who knows why we're letting the Elite change? Does anyone know? Not a pop quiz, by the way, but kind of a pop... Oh, okay. Kind of a pop quiz at the same time. Flotation with Magic Missile is some of the most fun with tactics. 
Yeah, if we did that on the Mimic, I could have killed it without taking any damage. Let's go to the other side. You're changing too? Wow. Good for you. We need it for Tainted Flask. I haven't been playing enough Tainted Flask. I just wish that the bonus damage lasted a little longer than the 12 seconds or whatever it is. Okay, I was gonna try to duck under that, but I lost all faith in myself. <laughs> Wait for it to change so I have enough reason to use Crusher? Come on! That's messed up! <laughs> it's real! We need that! V on YouTube question mark? Yeah, we've been on YouTube for a hot minute. Chat, I just found out that we have 800 videos on YouTube. That is a gross number. I didn't even think YouTube allowed you to have 800 videos. Harvey wants to remove some videos, like some of the really old stuff. But then another part of me is like, I know for a fact I've seen people comment on like me clearing 1BC for the first time. So then I feel bad. Uh, there's a channel with 2 million views on YouTube. That's got to be some kind of uh, five minute crafts or something. There's no way someone can talk for two million videos worth. That's like a skill. Yeah, fun to watch the old stuff. I agree. It's just 800 is such a big number. Ooh, that's really good on this map. The magnetic. We're pulling these things from who knows where. I guess it's the fact that they're on the ceiling. They aren't really planted. Crap. We got skip monsters. The curse is past the tick. There's some weird map generation, now that I think about it. Is that the exit? Alright, let's leave these. Anything that doesn't chase me, I'm leaving. Why did you chase me? Okay. Wow, it didn't kick me? I'm really surprised. It just gave up. There's our curse. So I rolled through it and immediately thought I was going to die. But I guess it knows that... You know, it doesn't have to be so mean. It's 2023. We don't have time for that kind of stuff. We're all in it together. That's a lot of leeches. I don't want to waste them. Uh, dodge roll backwards. Jeez, that was not smart. In my defense, I thought I would have time before they all jump on me like that. Uh, these early vids are gold, got me out of 2 BC. Thank you for the kind words. That makes me feel a lot better about keeping them up. Uh, I shouldn't be walking. 
You should try only parry with Curse Sword in your backpack. So as much as I I like challenges, I feel like the challenges I like the most are the ones that go quickly. For some reason, I feel like a shield only build is going to be very slow. And I don't want the viewer to fall asleep. Do I have low stats? 313 3. What happened? Didn't I get a challenge rift? Maybe not. Alright, so we're fighting with bare minimum right here. <laughs> Slimy, good to see you. You were the first person I thought of. I was gonna say, well, just have someone submit a Curse Sword parry build on YouTube. And then maybe we can do that. As a reminder, if anyone wants to submit your own build, you can do so. All of our members today will be able to submit a build for me to do. And we'll draw out from all the choices uh, which one we end up playing. I don't want to spend money re-rolling that. My hard-earned cash is my money. Homunculus only? If there was like some way to buff the homunculus rune, then maybe, but I can't stand here and wait for something to die like that. I'll just break the challenge myself. Um... So we want to keep acro Acrobatic Pack. Could technically bring in support for the Crusher. Instincto as well. I think that's overkill. We'll see what happens. I remember someone on Dead Cells Discord trying to do a dodge bomb only run. Yeah, unless you do some way that kills every monster in one hit. I don't know about that. It's a little tough. Not tough as in difficult, but tough as in I don't think I have patience. All right, let's try to get this no hit. Good damage. I'm just going to stutter step. I'm not going to do corner tech. I was worried that my 13 tactics wasn't going to be enough. See, why can I do this, but I can't play Street Fighter 6? I'm waiting to see the reaction of the monster. But in Street Fighter, I'm button mashing. And what, what's the difference? Why not point blank? Uh, support should be buffing more than just my, my shot. So I feel like I get better benefit out of support. Just for the boss. Like, in biome, sure, you can use point blank, but I don't even think I need that in biomes. Oh, legendary. Legendary. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Also, big thanks to everyone tuning in. I know we had some technical difficulties earlier. I'm happy this is uh, all working out. I'm just looking at the new buttons. I have a create highlight video button. What world am I supposed to do with that? Rusty Sword OP. I don't know if I could do that either. Like I know with combo and stuff like that, you can make a fairly decent, uh, decently long run. But it's like, I'd rather just play anything else, really. All right. Legendary. Magic missile? No, magnetic grenade. Explodes again after a brief moment. So what that looks like 
You throw it. Boom. Double suck. And then boom again. Ah. Okay. Why not use support and point blank? I mean, there's nothing saying I can't. That is certainly true. Uh, we do have to keep in the no mercy for the biome because that's what the uh, viewer asked for. I feel like this for biomes is perfectly fine. I don't think I need to really hit a monster that's right on top of me like that with point blank. Deathly graveyard. Uh, will I have fun? I guess that's the most important part about doing a challenge run. Is it going to actually be fun? I think it's more like, is it going to be fun for the viewer too? Because part of me also thinks that like, while you all might want to see a challenge run, I think you also want to see something that you could potentially try yourselves. I guess it might be a little bit of both. Like, yeah, some builds. V, I would never touch that with an eight foot pole, but I want you to touch it. And then other ones is like, V, this is not dead cells. I need you to pick up the best of the best because I'm trying to get some dubs today. And you playing Rusty Dagger is not going to help me do that. Nice box. Poison has no effect. Two jumps. I need more purple. I mean, not that we're hurting right now. Wow. That kept it locked for a long time. Uh, v is a requirement when submitting builds, so I have to pay in bits or something. So it's channel members, um, which is kind of like subscribing from a Twitch standpoint. Do I have a command for that? Exclamation point. Join? I think I set it up. It actually just popped up there. So anyone who becomes a member can submit a build. Have a spreadsheet prepared for all of them. Does anyone play Dead Cells on Switch? I don't have Dead Cells on Switch. I kind of wish I did. All I have is the um. Oh, it's over there, I think. Yeah, that's the PS4 version. But I do like the uh, the box for the Switch version. By BC lags. Ooh. I wonder if that's something that's known. Got worry about yourself? Yeah, no problem, Rose. I asked the question on specifically, I have this thing that we do called viewer builds. And if I do a YouTube live stream, what are some ideas on how I can get build submitted um, and right now YouTube just doesn't have an equivalent to channel points uh, but definitely I am looking into options I threw it down hoping that there was a monster to suck up We're moving though. This feels good. Haven't noticed any lag on Switch version. Mobile is fine if you have a strong phone. I still have to check if my emulator works. 
there was an issue with blue stacks trying to play dead cells on pc like mobile dead cells on pc and i don't think it was ever fixed but to be fair i haven't tried it in a while yo i finally managed to catch a youtube stream yo tunic welcome welcome it's a weird spot I saw chives in here earlier. Like sour cream and chives potato chips. What kind of chives we talking? That was really dangerous. How long have I played Dead Cells? So my first patch was the baguette update, which is where they added some languages, I believe. And that was early access. So I've been playing a couple of patches before early access. And we are, I want to say 2000 hours in. Chives is someone from Discord. Thank you, thank you. Yo, the flotation though. Wait, <laughs> it landed so softly. <laughs> I expected to get slammed down. How you so good? This is a viewer build con. So maybe the viewer just submitted a really good build. I have nothing to do with it. I just have to perform. Yeah, something about magnetic grenades sometimes lift monsters off the floor and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know exactly what causes it to happen. Well, Inquisitor does jump, so maybe it was that. Yo, Meowster, welcome, welcome. Wish I could change walls names. So like, if I go around to the back side of this and drop the magnetic grenade, like right here, see how they don't float up? I think maybe if you make a rat jump, it'll do it. So let's see if that works. What's the highest scroll count I've ever had? We have a video that's um, highest scroll count in North America or something weird like that. I would highly suggest you check it out. Though, spoiler alert, it's been beaten already. <laughs> My record! <laughs> My world record is already gone. It's messed up. This is why I'm not speedrunning. I can't have nothing. <laughs> Someone's already out to get your hard earned wins. I haven't played in two years. Oh my god, Ruben. Ruben, Ruben. Get yourself the. Return to Castlevania DLC. And then you'll be all set. You'll be set for life. I dare say that you could use every weapon in Castlevania DLC and probably win with it. The only one is maybe Medusa. If you try to use it as a solo weapon. But otherwise, you can definitely hook yourself up with just the ex expansion come back for that 900 hours i'm still stuck can't perfect mama tick queens servants and dracula a lot of it really boils down to the build like this build got a no hit on mama tick but could i say the same if it was just a magnetic i mean just a magic missile maybe not everything kind of lined up perfectly with this setup with all the electricity instincto crusher ooh stars poisons the enemy we already have that thank you for answering each other's questions by the way that's huge 
that's that community building that we're talking about if i played dead souls on mobile i tried but i can't get it to work on my emulator i want to like trust me i do but we're having tech issues all right um so we know there's monsters up there but they are hidden i'm gonna check over here first just to see if I can avoid a jump puzzle. Nope. Well, how hard is this? It's not very hard. Famous last words, of course. Okay, so that was a bust. Can I just have monsters I can see, please? Make phone have PC specs by using a simple USB. That works. So like you're playing off your PC, but on your mobile device, almost like you're streaming from your PC. Okay, so I actually have to go that way. It's unfortunate. Should have done survival. Uh, bonus to poison, generate toxic cloud. We already have poison in the kit. I should have taken it. Uh, bonus electricity, bonus 10% when you're near, minus damage. Is that legit? For the bonus damage? I think it's still less than 80% from poison. But at least we're buffing my other stuff compared to buffing the crusher. Here's a strat. YOLO. That's the power. Magnetic grenade. You didn't know. Just throw it anywhere and hope the monsters get sucked into it. You really underestimate the power of the masker, I feel. Like, I think it's nasty. There's two monsters here. And I can't tell if it's a rat. I think it's a grappler. It's a rat. Okay. I thought I heard chains. And, you know, Grappler, like, does the, the scorpion come here kind of deal. I thought that was the chain. Apparently, it's not. All right. I got to test out the poll feature, too. To see if you all can vote on if the build's legit. Um, Chat. Okay, so... I need you all to help me choose where to go next. Cavern. Sepulcher. Undying Shores. Give me a C in the chat for Cavern. F in the chat for Forgotten Sepulcher. U in the chat for Undying Shores. Just give me like a single letter. Fill up the chat. And I can figure out which way we're going. Why are there so many C's? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, some U's are coming in. I think the C's are winning. How is there not a single F? Okay, there's an S. Maybe I said S. What happened to Twitch? Nothing happened with Twitch. We're just on YouTube today. Is there a poll? Oh, wow. I literally just said that I should test the poll feature. We'll try that um, on the boss, I guess. Do a vote on if we're going giant or whatchamacallit. All right, let's see. If we can get a star, I I can't. 
Jeez, I couldn't grab the actual Hokuto behind me. <laughs> All right. That's a failure. I was trying to get maybe like flaming trail or poison or anything like that. What do you think about baseball bat? I like baseball bat. I don't use it very often because I don't think you all need to see baseball bat. There's other plenty good things to play. But taking the bonus electricity. I don't know if that really affects the dot. Like, I have a sneaking suspicion it only buffs the bullet that fires out from the Hokuto's bow. Um, but I'd have to go in the training room. All I can say is that I know for a fact that Flaming Trail and Poison Trail and stuff like that, Toxic Cloud, are guaranteed good. I always go Giant after Cavern. Name. What would it take you to go to Scarecrow? after caverns it is an option you don't have to go giant you may not want to which is fair all i'm saying is that you got options i'm bad at scarecrow see that's all i need that is a very very valid answer you know, I would have even taken I'm good at Scarecrow, but I hate it. Also acceptable. Ooh, this is good music. Rotate. Almost got hit. Okay, let's um uh, go now. No, oh, my money! <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's right there. My god, I need that 250. I'm down bad for money. I got a cat to feed. He's like He's asleep right now, but trust me. Once he wakes up, it's gonna be all meows and complaints. That meow is just him yelling. Armadillo pack is OP. Um, I like it, especially if you don't have any other options. What I can say is in a build like this, I don't think I need the shielding. I'd rather just kill the thing faster. <laughs> if it dies, I did not need the shield. Uh, what's your favorite soundtrack? I don't think I have a favorite. I think some things I like on some soundtracks and some I don't. Let you change. Watch my malaise meter, by the way. Look how big of a chunk I'm gonna get. More than it took for me to leave it and let it change. That's stonks. Ooh. That was close. Camera? Kind of weird. I can't get my mouse off of the screen. Well, you all can't see it anyway, so it's fine. Oh my god, I didn't see the missile. For some reason, I thought it just punched first and didn't shoot. That might be a problem. 
I'm not very tanky. I use survival repeater with armadillo. Do you think new necromancy is OP? Um, not that it's OP. It's just that when you're playing survival, like maybe you don't have a lot of stuff that you could take. So just taking necromancy is never wrong. And I don't know if that's like inherently OP, that this is never a bad mutation. Because we actually have a lot of that in Dead Cells. Like gastronomy, masochists, like all that stuff is never bad to take. In fact, there's some people who play every single run with gastronomy, masochist, and then the last one's a toss-up, but it could be no mercy. And they don't deviate from that. And to be fair, you could win every single run with just that stuff. And I, I kind of like that. But in some ways, I kind of don't like it at the same time. I'm not saying that it needs to be fixed right away. Devs, if you don't make these things have some kind of detriment, obviously you don't care about the game or the community. I think it's a me issue. Ooh. Okay, little skeleton prevention. I like that. Um, but like we had a Dead Cells 2, for example. Dead Cells 2, I wouldn't mind seeing something to make me not take Necromancy. I like generic stuff, but what I like even more is like obvious choices. Like, oh, 100% I meant to take this here. Oh my god! There we go. Finally, some stats. Like Gordon Ramsley's finally some good freaking stats. I know he says something else there, but this is a G-rated stream. Um, comparing Adrenaline to Frenzy, Necro seems busted. Um, I mean, maybe that means something's wrong with Adrenaline and Frenzy and not wrong with Necro. A lot of people will say, like in a competitive environment, that, yo, whatever this is, this is nasty compared to my casual build, my rogue deck. How am I supposed to compete with Teller Stars when I'm playing Trap Tricks? That doesn't mean there's something wrong with Teller Stars. That means there's something wrong with Trap Tricks. Which is very viable to say something is wrong with playing trap tricks. <laughs> no one knows what I'm talking about, and that's okay. Little streamer 101 for all my streamer hopefuls and streamer buddies. If you just focus on making yourself laugh, then you've already gotten at least one low from somebody. It just happened to be you. One kick W. <laughs> Hard to balance a game where healing is supposed to be limited. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, we were at PAX East in 2020, I believe. Um, and we were there meeting the Evil Empire team for the first time. Um, typically, whenever we went to PAX, it was the Motion Twin team there. But this was just after, well, during COVID, really. Um, and the Evil Empire team had, like, taken the reins for continuing game development. Uh, and the devs said that one of the things that they were told when they were handed over the key was be very, very careful about giving players the ability to heal themselves. They will find a way. They always do. They will find a way to break the healing. 
And this was like right around face last time. And it's true, like any time that they have healing in the kit, we find a way to make it mandatory. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, get your 5 VC wins while you can. You can't die anymore. And then it gets nerfed, uh, which is fair. But it's just super funny that in this game specifically, healing yourself is like so strong compared to other games. Shoot, some games like Hollow Knight, all you have to do is hit the enemy and then eventually you can heal yourself. Um, I got the stream on the background playing Trinity Fusion. Yeah, for all of my people watching right now. Um, so as you know, I play a lot of Dead Cells, but I would love just to be in the roguelike niche. So like, you could come here and save me. I just downloaded Oblivion Override. Have you seen that game? And I would say yes. We actually have stuff recorded for Tuesday, I think. Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday, the 14th? We got Oblivion Override all ready for you. That's like the goal. Ring of Pain, I did play Ring of Pain. We played that with Twitch integration. It's one of the best Twitch integration games of all. Um, so yeah, I'd love to be able to get to that point. So Trendy Fusion is another game that we've been playing in the background and also submitting stuff to the devs to let them know what's working and what doesn't how much hollow knight did i play i but i'll tell you exactly how i played hollow knight i went to youtube i searched hollow knight any percent speed run um, and then I went to someone who wasn't Fireborn. Now they have an issue with Fireborn. It's just they had like a really old speed run up. I put that video in the corner of my monitor. And then I played Hollow Knight following behind that person. So how much Hollow Knight did I play? I beat any percent Hollow Knight. And I have not touched the game since. Uh, so you could say that I have seen basically everything. If you were to ask me what percentage I won with, I don't remember. I think it was maybe like 17%. But I'm not an expert, so I don't know what the real percentage was. It was a low number, I can say that much. Lower than 30. Yeah, it was four hours for me to get through it. And that's like as someone who doesn't really know the game all that much. I just wanted to get the ending credits so that I don't have to play the game again. Or, okay, hear me out. We got the ending credits, so now I'm qualified to play Silk Song. Muck is a roguelike. It's a roguelike in the way that Risk of Rain is. So it's a big map, and there's power-ups that you constantly get the entire time. And it's like percent stats and weird stuff like that. Um, only game I can speed run is Batman on Sega Genesis. Shoot, I can't even speed run Dead Cells. So I give you a round of applause for that. All right, the poison came back. I don't know, I like the bonus damage. For some reason, I think it might be better overall. Gonna go play some Dead Cells. Jester, I hope I popped you up. V, watching you play the game, I now know everything I need. Let me go beat Dead Cells real quick. I'll come back and give you a status update. Thank you, Jester.
Okay. Um, Hokuto's bow. Bonus damage to poison target. I'm gonna do a quick experimentation. Uh, so what we're looking for is a yellow number. We're gonna tag this bird. It will not be poisoned. And look for the yellow number. Was that like 5,000? It's so fast, I can't see it. Hades or... Okay, I think I saw 5,700 just then. So if I do Magic Missile instead... Six. So I think that confirms that we're getting the 80%. It'd be helpful if I can find one more Elite. No, that was that was six as, as well. Why is my Hokuto not proccing there? That's weird. Is it blocking the Hokuto's dot? Yeah, I'm gonna say the affix bonus damage to poison target on the Hokuto's bow is not buffed by the poison. And I think that's always been the case, unfortunately. Sick dodge. Thank you. I, I'm like pure muscle memory right now. Which is uh, both good and bad. It's good because I can respond to your chat. The I love that you're so responsive. I can ask any question, like maybe it was because of back shield, and I can say yes. The fact that it blocks my Hokuto's damage is extremely weird, but am I gonna report it? I'm a little lazy. I apologize. Susie, if you're out there, your ground shakers might be blocking your Hokuto bow, and I'm gonna tell you I'm not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> Susie, I'm sorry. Jeez. All right, that's a full map clear. I expected to get to full HP. I'm a little sad about that. All right, let's try this poll feature. We're going to do a vote if I can get this to work. And we're going to see if you all can vote. Oh, thank you, Pink, for the reminder. You can do a Q&A. That's really cool. Start a poll. Which boss are we going? Giant. Scarecrow. All right, poll is up. Cash your votes, people. I don't know um, when to stop it. Again, if you'd like to submit your own build, all of our members today get to submit builds. Um, this is one from Con of Trolls, but I like to do viewer builds live on YouTube as well. I think it'd be really cool. If you don't know how to be a member, you can join right here. Or maybe it's member? Oh god. I don't know what it is.
You can join. Oh, it's because it's a timer. Just copy and paste, I guess. All right. Scarecrow is winning out. That's horrifying. We got full faith in my abilities today. 61% saying go Scarecrow. 61% if I were to hand them my controller, I can guarantee you 61% ain't taking the controller. Very, very good from a streamer standpoint. Oh, let's look at uh let's look at gear. There's a few shops we can do. Uh Malaysia's pause because we cleared the map. It only keeps ticking when you're in 20 BC. Uh, sure. 10% damage when you're near it poisons the enemy, but it doesn't do anything else. <laughs> like, I'm saying all this and knowing that it probably doesn't matter because I think all my damage is coming from Magnetic, Hokuto, and Electric Whip. We're not replacing our Magnetic. Jeez. It's one more. Yeah, we're going Scarecrow. Your fellow viewers have decided. They know something that I don't. Wow, it's literally the same one that was on the other side. Ooh. Okay. 10%, 25%, 15%, percent Uh, weapon, weapon, weapon. Uh, we want a new electric whip. How many of these have I rolled? Maybe just once. New pole. Wake up, hun. New pole just dropped. Play times four electric whip. Take. No. All right. Now we shall see what people think. why I play tactics like why don't I get a times four damage tombstone when I'm actually playing survival legendary go giant with this the chat decided I guess to be fair like you would rerun the boss because things have changed at this point I hope I practice scarecrow before the stream I mean if scarecrow plays the game with this thing on the table, something's wrong. Devs! Devs, buff your times four damage weapons. <laughs> All right, I think the chat has decided. All right. El Scarecrow. For all my, uh, my Spanish speakers, my Hispano Ablantes in the chat, what's Scarecrow in Espanol? I can't even piece it together. I don't know Scare and I don't know Crow. Como se dice Scarecrow? Ditch these. El Scarino. That's... 
not bird or scare. In Portuguese, is espantalo. See, that, that seems more like it. Uh, reset. Disengage mandatory. Um, acrobatic pack. What else do we have? Well, I could just put in support. Point blank is probably the right move. Because we're going to be hitting with electric whip. I think you do it. I know I said earlier that taking support would buff all my damage, but I think right now buffing the electric whip smack might be better than other stuff. We don't have crows to scare. I'm not even sure if there are crows in South America. I can give you some crows. We got plenty over here. Too many, actually. It's like the Canadian geese. But you can't really hunt them because they don't taste good. A little scary. Please! It's about to say, is my crusher doing anything? <laughs> I think it only hit the boss once. <laughs> Come on. How is my skin changing? We have custom mode, which has a randomized skin in every biome. Hi from the Philippines. Yo, is that that's Tagalog, right? Little any education moment. What's this Q&A button? What a weird button. Oops. Wolves? Sorry. Wait, aren't I <laughs> on Team Wolf? I've never really streamed on YouTube like this, and there's all these new buttons that I don't know what they do. Are you pogged? Yes, I'm pogged. No pogs. I like the poll feature. <laughs> All right, so if I were to say what's one thing that YouTube streaming has over uh, Twitch, that poll feature is really good. Am I going distillery? I kind of want to go to Servants Through Infested Shipwreck, to be honest. I want to fight Servants Queen, but I also want to do Murder Bridge. Free Pierce All. And we need a star on it. I might keep the one I have. Yeah, Twitch does have polls, but I think they're all timed. And for some reason, people struggle seeing the polls on Twitch. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, we have redundancy on the magic missile, though. Maybe we can find a fire one. I'm stuck in 3BC. Joan, 3BC is actually like kind of a fun place to be. I wouldn't mind it too, too much. Level 10 versus level 12. Yeah, the difference is, though, is that the toxic cloud. OK, maybe the level 12 was better. <laughs> I, I can't really if I didn't have toxic already, the toxic cloud is amazing because that allows Hokuto's bow to kill stuff on its own without me technically having to use any other button. Like, I could literally just shoot Hokuto's bow and the monster dies. But sure, since I already have Dot in the kit. Ooh. Oh, Beats? Distillery? I know you all keep asking, but Distillery, I'm telling you, this is the map. 
right here this is like you're going to five guys you're asking for just a burger and you're saying we have this entire menu right here i know you just want a burger but nothing on it we have onion bacon portobello pepper i'm gonna hook you up you don't know that you needed it but i'm gonna hook you up and it's all free it costs the same as a regular hamburger and a matter of fact you're losing money by just getting a regular hamburger you're literally out 10 bucks you, you don't know that's fine it's okay to not know it's an unknown unknown for you you don't know that it could be better uh what's the hardest weapon to master what about i've been struggling with lately maybe that's the better question I've been struggling with infantry bow lately. I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I take infantry bow into a boss like Timekeeper, I do not do well at all. And it might be a Timekeeper issue. Maybe Timekeeper is just a better player than me. But I think I could take any other brutality or tactics weapon in there and do better. Chat, what, what game is this character from? This isn't Ghost whatever, right? Not Ghost Runner. There's another Ghost Katana game. Uh, how many hours do I have in Dead Cells? We're at 2,000. Let's get the real number. 2,248. This is Katana Zero. Any sequels for Katana Zero? When's Katana 1? Ooh, Magnet Grenade's really good on this map. Does the timing window change every strike for RMB? No, it's, the, it's consistent the entire way. I almost think of playing RMB like playing Street Fighter 6. I reference Street Fighter 6 a lot, by the way. I, I hope you all realize that by now. Um, careful inputs without button mashing is how you play R&B. Uh, what do you think about multi-knock? I only use multi-knock if I'm going to use barb tips. I really don't enjoy multi-knock. It has like this uh, animation wind up to it. It has a three-hit combo, too, which is kind of weird. It doesn't look like it, but when you fire it three times, I think the third shot is red, and the first two shots are yellow. I feel like that should just be taken out. It should work like a quick bow, except slower. It has good breach. Yeah, I, I'm sure it does. It's probably a me issue. I don't think I'm playing just straight up bows. Typically, when I'm playing tactics builds, it looks like this. Whips. Uh, magic missile. I haven't really been doing bows in a while. Not saying that bows are bad. It's just a, a play style. It's a pre personal preference. Keep the questions coming, though. A matter of fact, what if I use the Q&A feature? Start a Q&A. Did I get the secret or did I miss it, Dondi? Oh, God. See viewer questions. How do I answer them? I can't even see my own chat. Can someone test that Q&A feature? Just type in anything. I'm married. 
to a beautiful wife in the other room, sleeping with neither cat, because they're both in this room. Have you considered Dead Cells coaching? My dream content a couple of months ago was to have people to have someone in like a voice chat that could walk me through the game and or I walk them through the game. But I think it was more entertaining to have like someone else tell me what to pick up rather than the other way around. If I ever tried mobile version, my mobile version doesn't work. I want to play it, but unfortunately I have to fix the emulator, fix blue stacks. Favorite fruit? We're eating dried apricot right now. Sorry if it looks like rat droppings, but that's high on the tier list. Legendary is the best. It's really tough. It's definitely between Tombstone for me. Tombstone and what? Oh, like I wish Medusa could kill a boss by itself. If legendary Medusa could kill Conjunctivius on its own, that would be up there. What do you think of Giant Killer? I think it's a little outdated. Uh, with all the survival stuff we've gotten over the past couple of years, I think Giant Killer has just gotten power creeped. Power crept, I should say. You just show the carrot? I used to like canned carrots. Like I would just toss them in a pan with pepper and eat that as a kid. But now I feel like eating carrots is like a waste of time. I should just be eating broccoli if I'm gonna eat carrots. If you were a Dead Cells item, what would you be? Scythe? Just big enough, just slow enough, but can still like get it done. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? I don't ask. I just got that from nowhere. Uh, favorite skill or weapon? I've been really liking Trident lately. Um, I've been playing Dead Cells a bit offline, and if I see Trident, I take it every single time. I'm not saying it's the best item, it's just fun. Best risk reward ratio weapon? I want to say it's Scythe, but not legendary. It's got to be regular Scythe with kill rhythm. And I think when that thing starts singing, my god, it's freaking good. It's a Grammy Award winner. It's like Drake singing when you're rocking a Scythe. Tick Scythe, that is. All right, I'm going to end the Q&A because I can't see chat. That was kind of cool. What a nice little feature. Froggy, hello. See, I didn't get a chance to say hi to Froggy because I had this uh, thing on my screen. Wow. I like it. I like it. What I need to do, though, I need to find other games I can stream on YouTube. Games that are not Hades. <laughs> <laughs> Until Hades 2 release date gets dropped. I can tell you all right now, I don't have any interest in playing Hades 1 until Hades 2 gives a release date. When that happens, we're going to hard commit to Hades. We'll do Hades 32 Heat all aspects while we're waiting on Hades 2 to drop. When did you start playing Dead Cells? 2018, I think. Advice for boss rush is the good good thing. I think the advice in boss rush is to figure out what weapons are guaranteed a non-win 
and which ones are actually okay to take on what you think is going to spawn next. So for example, Root Grenade. Root Grenade and Wolf Trap. In a lot of circumstances, you would say, V, I should take Wolf Trap for every boss rush attempt. Um, but what you, what you don't realize is that you might get the Giant and Dracula EX, Mama Tick. I think Death avoids it as well. It's so like you can't just take things because you know it beats the Giant, for example, because it might not beat Scarecrow. Or something that beats Conjunctivius might struggle against Double Concierge. So you almost have to think of what item can I take that will cover all my bases. It's freaking kid. Relax. It's not that serious. Um, that doesn't make any sense. What? What doesn't make any sense? A little funny streamer tip. The streamer always instantly forgets what he said. You can tell what you will fight now, except if you get... Oh, right, right, right. I forgot they changed that. My bad. See, that's a new feature. So I, I didn't have that one saved in my brain. Thank you, though. So yeah, you do now have um, a tell ahead of time what boss you're going to be fighting. So definitely pick something that will help you fight the harder of the two bosses. And then be prepared to get rid of it in the next boss fight. It's pretty good electric whip. Coming to Hades after Hades 2 gets a release state. Doesn't make sense. No, so there's like visibility there um so what happens is that when hades 2 gets a release date there's a sudden influx of people who are now remembering that hades exists and then when they start seeing that oh crap like hades is now getting recommended on my feed perhaps i should take a look at this um that's when you start putting out more hades 1 stuff prefacing it so it's actually like titled can we get all 32 heat wins before Hades 2 drops like that's the literal YouTube thumbnail and title and that's better than just getting a 32 heat win now there's an expectation of a goal that's being set and I think it does super well what loadout did I do to get flawless 5BC boss rush? So I'm going to let you in on a secret, Taylor. When the boss rush first came out, there was a bug that granted you all of the flawlesses. So I don't think I ever did full flawless 5BC. I have all the costumes, though. And that's not saying that I can't do it. It's just, I'd rather do a viewer build or 20 BC or something like that. Uh, but what I should say, okay, this is a good segue. V, you say you can do it. Prove it though. Yeah, I got you. Let me hook you up real quick. So if I go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash v.me there he is okay so we have this video right here dead cells all bosses ex modes no damage taken this is every boss on the okay some of these are not on the latest patch but these have multiple different builds. So like Stun Grenade RMB on Concierge. 
R&B boys acts. Kitty Cat helped a lot too. On death. Flawless stun grenade on Mama Tick. R&B stun grenade on Conjunctivious. Rampart helped too. Another R&B build for the giant. Apparently R&B does a lot. Uh, Timekeeper Wolf Trap with Repeater Crossbow. At rare Armadillo Pack usage. Scarecrow Double Shield. <laughs> this is probably like the e not to say the easiest for me to do. But this was a freaking shoo-in. I had to do this with double shield. Dracula phase one. Return the shotgun. This is the Ava 8. Or pump shotgun if you're a Fortnite player. Hand of the King. Uh, Iron Staff. Very good in here with ice armor. And then you get ice armor cooldown from this thing. Uh, Cervante. This is... <laughs> okay. V! Baseball bat? Really? You're gonna do that? Yeah. I'm gonna show you all this one. I, I really enjoyed the Servant one. Can I get a quality? The Servant one was a lot of fun. This one took me like two hours to get. With combo. And the issue was is that I couldn't kill Cleo before she disappeared. Like I wanted to get the ultimate kill on her with one wolf trap and I just couldn't do it. But see, even just there, in the wolf trap, Calliope still just disappeared. She didn't stay. That's why we have stun grenade too. It'd be so much easier if she just stayed in the wolf trap the entire time. Servants are from what game? They're from Dead Cells. They're original monsters. They're from the DLC though. Rise, Rise of the Giant. Um, Queen and the Sea DLC. Uh, but yeah, she does not stay in the wolf trap. She will jump out immediately. Stun Grenade works though. It's like you get wolf trap in. Oh. Never mind. She does jump. I mean, she does stay in. How nice of her. See, so yeah, like, here's a bunch of different builds if you want to try survival. I'm working on the brutality one right now. I'm just struggling on Timekeeper for some reason. I died to Timekeeper about 10 times before I loaded up today's stream. All right, um, so we're fighting servants. I think the build stays the same. The only thing I could maybe toss in is support mutation, assuming I'm jumping around a lot. Over point blank. I think we'll keep the point blank. Climb with the times four is going to be brutal. Let's do another poll. Oh, we got to end the last poll. We're going to see if you all think we can do this without getting hit. Which we don't even get a legendary out of it. It's so sad. Can he win with no damage taken? Yes easy game no game is hard all right cash votes people oops i hit my microphone i'm sorry what's the best dlc to buy i would buy castlevania if you have the option 
And then from there, I would probably get bad seed. Like, if money is the issue, I would say in order, if you don't just get all of them. Castlevania, Bad Seed, Queen in the Sea, Fatal Falls. Yo, we made it. Oh crap, Malays. We gotta go. You all get to vote on how good the viewer build is after all this, by the way. I'm gonna tag her once and then run. Wow, she didn't die? Ooh, close one. We'll take the rope. Holy crap. Thought I was gonna get hit just then. All right, not bad, not bad. Give me one magic missile. Ooh. Okay, so she still gets out one hit. We gotta be ready for that. Uh, my magic missile does toxic cloud. Maybe I don't need to use magic missile. Let's keep it going. Oh my god, I was hoping to fight her right here. Ooh. That was almost my face. Not smart. I trolled myself. There was absolutely no reason to go that way. Typically, don't even bother going for the vine runes. I think the vine runes are a scam. Should have eaten first. Screws up the boss a little bit. <laughs> no channel points. I wish I could. We did bring it up with the uh, YouTube folks. We definitely want some kind of system. As you see, I'm doing a lot of wall run and dodge roll. I rarely actually press the attack button when I'm climbing. Oh my god. I can't get out. That was a good hit. All right, big food, big food. Small food, SMOL. Dang, it took me two health pots to do the run up. That's unfortunate. Should have dodge rolled too. Okay, so we got her. Can probably get you. Using the flotation. Ooh, surprised I didn't get hit there. I'm so shocked you didn't hit them, lol. Yeah, I probably could have done an execute on one of them. But I thought to myself that maybe I could do the run up. Because sometimes, like, I want to show the full action of the run upward. But I just shouldn't have gone through the vine room. That's my bad. All right, five things I wish I knew. Servants edition. Don't hit the green. The green 
Usually it, green means money, green means go, green means good. Green is a A-OK. -okay. Uh-uh, not in Servant Fight. Green bad. You only want yellow. That's when you hit the gas. <laughs> when it goes yellow. Because you don't want to get stopped at the stoplight. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> Okay, let's do one more for Queen. That was legit. Can he beat Queen? No damage. Yes. No. Uh, which is harder? Servant Fighter Queen? Depends on the build. Something like that? I would dare say Queen might be harder. Just because of all the cross-ups. The nice thing about Servants is that you can burn them down. In hopefully one phase if you have a four times damage weapon. Um, but Queen can just decide to do stuff that you aren't prepared for. Like you can kind of expect everything from the servants, right? It starts off with Cleo. Cleo goes in and does three hits. It's the same every single time. Queen, however, Queen rushes at you. She starts off with her combo, but then she could go behind you. She could do what Pink is saying, where it does like the stab and then giant sword, or she might go like stab to explosion or stab to flame across the ground. Like, that's where it's hard. Giant sword thingy? Yeah, so Queen has... One of her combo enders is that she does a swipe forward, and then she pulls out a broadsword, basically, a giant broadsword, and then swipes immediately after. Uh, but she doesn't always do it. Sometimes she does her combo into explosion or into command grab. So that's when queen is harder than servants. Um, but sometimes if you have a build that has something like a boy axe or something like mushroom boy, or uh, I'm trying to think of what else, cocoon, all of those make queen basically nothing. Boy axe especially, I don't know why. She hates boy axe. You again, so stubborn. Hello, cat. Yeah, he's been laying down the entire time. I'm surprised. Hasn't gotten up once. Wounded! No! Those are mine! No, my crusher! Oh wow, I thought I was gonna get hit. I agree! Okay, when you have four times damage taken and dealt, it's not half bad of a fight. But to be fair, like I said, she chose to do different attacks. If she had done, uh, if she didn't go for my turret, if she didn't grab my magic missiles, then she would have done the other stuff that would have been much more dangerous. <laughs> Copium? I promise she can be harder. I promise servants can sometimes be easier. Did you, did, that, that's not a good example. <laughs> I'm telling you. What happened to streaming on Twitch? Uh, today we just wanted to stream on YouTube. We gotta have options. Uh, we will be back on Twitch on Monday, just to let you know. Uh, Monday's stream, we have, I want to say it's Dead Cells, and then a sponsored Lies of P demo. Uh, to any new players here, Hokuto is good. Yeah, but remember, you need to hit the monster with something for Hokuto to be better. Um, you can't just have it as a primary plus like a grenade or something and expect it to do damage. It needs to be 
consistent damage. Um, if you could add a legendary unique affix, what would it be? I think I have to look. Do baseball bat, bro. Cranium, if you want to submit a build, you can do that. Matter of fact, everyone in the chat, you can submit a build if you want to join a, and be a member of the channel. All the members are going to have their chance to add builds to a list. The Twitch list is huge. I'm going to show you all that real quick. This is the Twitch list. So far, we have done all of these over the past, I'd say since like 2020, 2021. We've done all of these. 133. This was today's build. 133 builds. Uh, we just added a new YouTube Bitcoin wallet credentials. What? Oh, because we're not logged in. Okay, that's fair. Um, I just added a new YouTube viewer build list. Which is this. Which is currently empty. It is empty because today is the first day that I'll be collecting viewer builds. If you want to submit your own build, all you have to do is become a member of the channel and you can be the first on the list to ever submit a build on YouTube. Okay, but what did I want to do? I, someone asked me about legendary items. Um, so right now, some of the legendaries are a little lacking. Uh, so for example, Balance Blade increased move speed after 5 seconds. It's okay, but I think this could be something cooler. Um, for example, Balance Blade has this issue where if you take a damage, you lose the combo. And it could be something as simple as you no longer lose the combo on hit. Or combo timer is extended. Technically, that's what the move speed's supposed to be. Once you kill the monster and you get the crit, you can get to the next monster sooner. Um, but I don't think until we get more stuff for move speed, like maybe mutations that buff you if you have move speed bonuses. Uh, we have some. If we get more, then these will be fine. Um, something like Wrenching Whip makes the victim bleed. I feel like that's like not super great. If it could be like Wrenching Whip is twice as long. Where like you try to whip and pull in the monster. And it'll pull in monsters from farther away. That could be kind of cool. Uh, flawless increases move speed after five seconds. I don't think Flawless needs that. It's not balance play. You never lose the crits on Flawless. But what does Flawless want? It wants you to not take damage. So like, what could it do to not take damage? Maybe give it something like Broadsword. Where in the world's Broadsword? Am I blind? Oh, Broadsword's green. That's why. Funny fact, Broadsword used to be red and green. Now it's green only. Um, but see Broadsword here? Grant a shield upon killing an enemy? Like, if Flawless had that, that it would make sense. Because, like, Flawless wants you to not take damage. Why not just give it this? Um... Yeah, shield after crit might be OP, but then again, it is legendary, so maybe that's okay. Ooh, they even, so something like this, the devs have like new tech that we never knew about. Enemies killed, explode, and deal damage around them. We've never had something like that before. So I think they could 
add stuff that's out of the box that doesn't even have to be pulled from another weapon. Like, I didn't know I wanted Ora Ora on my fist. What other anime is out there that we can add? Why does Fire Blast have nothing? That's interesting. <laughs> A Laser Glaive is definitely double ammo. Oh, the Granite Shield. It's just a variant of Victim's Remain Explode? No. I mean, technically it is, but Victim's Remains Explode is like the floor is lava. With Hayabusa, it's basically, it turns the monster into a infantry grenade. It's like super interesting, I feel. But yeah, even something like this? I mean, that's kind of sick, right? Unfortunately, you can't have infinite uptime. So if I spam it, it still goes away. You can try to time it, but then you're dealing no damage. So it's like, whatever, I guess. Why aren't I streaming on Twitch? You know, we gotta try stuff every now and then. For all I know, YouTube folks um, are very energized and would love to see more streams and Twitch folks, maybe, you know, they're watching Diablo right now. And I don't want to play Diablo. I have Diablo. I have Street Fighter 2. If you were to tell me, V, would you rather play Street Fighter or Diablo right now? I'm playing Street Fighter. Uh, but yeah, a lot of cool legendaries in here. Need an oil bomb. Oh, to play Fire Blast well. I do kind of wish that Oil Grenade was maybe a little cooler. Victims burn when they die lets you kill things with just Oil Grenade. Well, oil Grenade can kind of do that already. So maybe it's not all that important. I don't know. But that was a good run. I forgot we got to rate the build. This is our first time ever rating a build on YouTube. You all saw it. It was Electric Whip, Magic Missile, Magnetic Grenade, Crusher, and then at some point, a times four damage Electric Whip showed up. I'd say please don't rate it purely on the times four whip. I promise you other stuff happened. Uh, so I'm gonna start a poll. Rate the build. S, A, B, C, D. Oh, we can only go up to four? That's unfortunate. Usually we rate the builds on like number scale, but we'll do the letters today. So rate the build S, A, B, C, or no D available. I'm sure no one's gonna rate it below a C. Uh, but cash your votes, people. Let the viewer know we were pogged up the entire time or not. I don't know why you wouldn't be pogged up. I'm sure there's lots of things. Legendary giant killer goes in the backpack. That would be hilarious. Yeah, I think in 2023, we could probably allow giant killer out of the backpack. If I could have triple boy axes because I'm rocking ammo mutation, I'm sure giant killer must not be that bad. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, oh, so next week we'll be playing oblivion override we have a video prepared this is a new roguelike game where the dev said v we base this game off dead cells meets mega man and like i'm, I'm already so when you told me we based off dead cells but when they said they put the mega man in there too my god sign me up i'll buy two uh but this is the next roguelike release that we're gonna be showing on youtube i'm just gonna run a quick trailer while the poll is going through hang on thank you everyone for subscribing to the channel by the way oblivion override is Mega Man dead cells so uh, from what I've played, I'd actually say it's not so much Mega Man. 
It's definitely Dead Cells. Um, it definitely has a little bit more Devil May Cry than Dead Cells does. Um, but the bosses, I'd say, are very Dead Cells Mega Man. It's a cool game. It's legit. I actually enjoy it a lot. A lot of weapons. Um, it's a roguelike, kind of like a Hades almost. But like it gives you three choices, then you take whichever the choice is. Um, there's a lot of different weapons that do a lot of different things. Yeah, omnidirectional dash two and down slam and relics. So like these are relics up here that all do different things. That's different than the Hades stuff, which is like I'm buffing my primary and my skill. It even has little pets. Um, so far, I think I've gotten up to the second boss of this game. But I don't want to spoil too much before we show it up on uh, YouTube. But yeah, cool stuff down the line. Again, I really hope you all enjoy all the roguelikes that we toss up on the channel because there's a lot of cool games out. And I want you all to get pogged up for all of them. And Dead Souls isn't going anywhere. I'm working on Dead Souls videos right now. What's in the queue is Dead Souls, Skull the Hero Slayer, Gunfire Reborn, Oblivion Override, Hades. Those are five things I'm working on right now. Um, but speaking of that, today's stream, I know it was a little shorter than normal, but today's stream, we're actually going to call it here. I think the YouTube streams are really cool because like, I can stop them and have like that one vid posted. I hope you all enjoyed it. You gave it an A ranking for the build. Hopefully it was an A rank or even an S rank stream in general. I appreciate you all tuning in. This was fantastic. Would definitely love to see it again. Um, but while we're closing out, feel free to ask more questions. And then we will be good for the day. Good to close. Thank you for all the subscribers today. New future members on the table. Great stream. Thank you, Pyro. Thank you. Um, either way, you all have a good night, good day, good evening, good whatever. Wherever you are, stay safe out there if you are, you know, still experiencing smog or any of the other various things happening around the world. Uh, keep up on socials. We also have a Discord channel. If you want to, you know, continue the conversation, you can find us in Discord as well. Um, otherwise, you all have a good one, and I will catch you later. Adios, everybody.